Hi, I'm Betty Banjack, and this is Look Who's Cooking. And today we have a very, very special guest. Uh, may I call you Tony, or should I say Mr. Koya? Tony is fine. Tony Koya. And Tony is the supervisor of educational media here at the high school. He's in charge of all this that you see each week. And he's, I have to, I don't want to admit this, we do a pretty good job, you know. Well, I thank you. <laughs> and obviously these are all of my students producing the show today, as, as they do every week. You have to be careful. That's right. They could cut your head off. They could, you know, do they, all sorts of they, they can do all of those things. Ah, they have it with him. We sort of decided today was going to be dedicated to apples. Can't you see? We have apple jackets and mm -hmm. apple aprons. Apple apron. And it was just something that we sort of came up with when we were trying to decide what we were going to make. Sort of like a tribute to the apple. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> all right. Uh, when I first asked Tony to come on the show, his thing was, oh, you want me to make, uh, what was the cheese sandwich? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, but we've gotten him beyond that. We're going to get with apples, and the first thing we're going to make is an apple nut cake. And what I'm going to need for you, can you cut apples? I can certainly give it a try. We have a knife right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, let me pick. This cake calls for two cups of apples. Okay. And I always figure one apple's a cup. I just okay. made, that's my measurement. So what we're going to do, we, since it's the holidays coming up, we'll do red and green. All right. Uh, and all, what you need to do is don't cut the skins off. Don't cut the skins off. Don't cut. Just clean the, you know, I cut a quarter of them. And then mm -hmm. cut, because you can cut the skins off, but then you lose the red and green effect. That's right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to quarter it. Quarter, quarter it and then eighth it, and you can cut it in small pieces. Okay, sounds good. Let's see. Oh, you do that well. Okay, well, I'm going to start over here, mm -hmm. and I need two eggs. I'm not one of those wizards that can one hand and... Mm -hmm. I'm a two-handed egg, a two -handed egg person, and I'm going to just beat it up a little. Sometimes I do the eggs with a whisk and then change over to the wooden spoon, but I'm going to do it all with the wooden spoon. Here we have about a cup and a half of sugar. I'm going to beat that in. You did well. All right. See, I haven't lost any major body parts lately. No. All right. You have all your fingers? All my fingers yeah. so far. It's early in the show, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Then I'm going to put in some vanilla. And this is going to be an apple nut cake? Apple nut. I never thought much about vanilla until I start making my own. <laughs> you, make, you make your own vanilla? Yeah. Is it, I, and I'm not trying to be Martha Stewart or anything. It's the only thing like, I really make. <laughs> them. But it has a um, high percentage of vodka in it. It tastes very good. Well, it, it smells good for those in the audience who can't smell. I mean, it really yeah. it does smell very good. We were talking about smell aroma last week. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not going to work, we're told. They're not gonna, we're not going to get it. No. In he, this little container, I have the flour and the salt and the baking powder and cinnamon. I'm going to put that right in fast. This is a really fast and easy cake, and it comes out very, very well. If uh, your holiday is like... Hanukkah and not Christmas and all, you mm -hmm. can do this kosher just by using the right ingredients and kosher cooks would know what they are. All right. But it's really a... Now, how are these from a size point of view? Well, what I want you, what I want you to do is cut each one in threes. Each one of these in threes? Yeah. So it would be like this? Yeah. Ooh. It's like chunky. Okay. Sounds chunky good. Chunky apple. And I still have that other. You still have another one to another, go? You're another doing one to well. Go. So one of us has to slow down and one no, of us has I to speed have up. Oh, I have okay. things to do. All right. Places to go people <laughs> <to> meet. <laughs> so these little containers that I carry over, everything over to the school are really very nice. Then I have... So in here, again, I have the flour and the eggs and all the stuff I need mm -hmm. for that. And I need uh, nuts, about a cup of walnuts that I chopped. And they don't have to be even because once it's in there, you don't know if it's even or not. And that's going to go right in with the mix. That goes right in. Mm -hmm. 
it's ironic. This uh, batter is a little stiff. Sometimes they get a little watery, depending on the size of the egg. Mm -hmm. And when once you get the apples in two, that'll make give it some more water. And once again, you said kind of one apple equals about one cup. That's what I, I came size. up with. That I don't. No, that may be a little more than usual, but I tend to always have a heavy hand on what I put in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's, you're doing really good there, Tony. All right. Maybe we get you a job in the cafeteria. I'll, I'll, I'll try here. Uh, I heard a little story when you mentioned to your wife, Marie, you were going to do this. She mm -hmm. should have laughed herself still. I think she's still laughing. She's still <laughs> laughing and she hasn't even seen the show. <laughs> That's funny. You might be sorry. She well, may make you the cook yes, now. Yes, one can never tell. Of course, the show's not over. Oh, that's we'll true. see what happens. I've been wanting to have Tony cook for quite a while, and he kept turning me down. But he wasn't able to do that this week. We had a, <laughs> a guest that couldn't make it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> He's my backup person. <laughs> And, and when you called and said, look, this is your chance to be a star. Yeah. You could be Emeril. That's it. You'd rather go, be Julia Child. Uh, uh, I don't know. Who's I more famous? I guess Emeril is probably more famous. He's more known, but Julia Child has a more cult following, I think. Oh, that's right. She really does. I saw her on TV the other day, and she is 89, and she is living in assistance living. But she was... She was going full strong, cooking something for somebody. Oh, really? Shrimp. So on at 89, she's still on television. Well, I don't know how much of the cooking she does anymore, <laughs> but she's still on television. She was the pioneer in this. She was mm -hmm. the person that made it uh, all started with her. And she was so funny, and she's so sloppy. That's why I love her. She just makes mistakes all over the place. Well, now we are into almost the cult cooking folks. Oh, like yeah. You said, like Emerald. Celebr celebrity cooking. We call them celebrity cooks. Is that how you referred to this show? Yeah, of course. Uh. <laughs> and I have celebrity guests, and you know. <laughs> we have a pretty good following. We have a very good following in the area here. And, and I, I'm much to, <laughs> I think much to Tony's surprise. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I came with great hopes and not knowing better, and, <laughs> and he didn't know at all. So, so we're going to put, why don't you put about, well, that's a little more, put about two handfuls in here. About two handfuls. Yeah. Of some red and some green. Yeah, well, that's not a handful, Tony. Oh. Another one. Another one. Okay. Okay. And then other things you can eat. Eat. Mm hmm And we do have a crew that eats. Now, let me tell you some other things you can do with this. This is the easy way. You just put it. There's a couple ways. You could just dice up the uh, apples, mm -hmm. put them in a pan, and pour the batter okay. over them. You can mix it in here like this, which I like to do because... I think it gets to coat everything a little better. Or you can almost chop them finer, much finer, like the, the one we have finished here, mm -hmm. and uh, put it in there. And oh, it makes okay. it more. This would be a chunky apple. And with the skins on, are we, we're, uh, we're going to see a little bit of the red and the green? You're going to see a little bit of the red and the green, especially at the bigger pieces. And that's nice. But you don't have to. Some people have a thing about they don't like skins. Mm -hmm. uh, skins give them lunch. And, you know, skins aren't. Well, you don't have to put the skins on, you know. Cooking is what you want it to be. Okay. You know, if you don't like something, substitute something. Okay, I think you got my. I'm going to cover that sure. a little more. And here, as I always call myself, the queen of the foil pans. Oh, I like this. Dollar store. Dollar store foil oh, pans. Always. When I'm in a bind, I go to the supermarket. But boy, it has to be in the, like 11 o'clock at night and all the dollar stores are closed. And I just use this, the cooking spray real fast and easy. And that's obviously to make stuff not stick to the... Yeah. That's good. Tin, let's see. You said you didn't I, know anything. I told you I was relatively without unencumbered by cooking skills oh, okay. for this show. We're going to have to get Sam and Gladys on. Yes. Except Gladys can really cook. I, Gladys, but she, I can't get her to come on. Well, we'll have to. We'll talk with her. Much Maybe like Maybe we'll make it me. mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep your job? <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, since you're doing such a wonderful job, all right. We'll why don't you pour this, that in the pan? Let me get this stuff out of the way here. We'll move the pan over, and I'm, I assume I'm going to just. You can do it that way, or you could. I can, I'll hold it, and you can. Ah, okay. Kind of like a two-person job here. Oh, it's more fun to cook with. 
mm -hmm. someone else. Sometimes you have to cook yourself. I've said that before. But it's more fun when, even if someone's just sitting around and they're not cooking, they're, they're instructing. <laughs> I have a friend who does instructs a wonderful dinner. Doesn't instructs cook, it, doesn't yeah, cook at all. Doesn't cook at all, instructs it of what, making a wonderful dinner. I won't mention any names or numbers. And then you're going to spread it out in the pan. So everything is sort of nice and even. And then when it, it gets in the oven, it's it's will melt. Sent Let me get a little oh. bit more of this. How's I that? Have a little a spatula. Bit. Put that on the list. A spatula. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, but we have usually when guys, the batters like that are heated, they melt out they, evenly. Sometimes okay. you see it chunky and you go, ugh, that's it. But when you look at it, it's all smooth. Okay. And the one that we had finished... And, and again, that was the look. that was the apple that we ground up. Uh, I'm gonna. So with with this one, basically what we had is uh, much finer cut apples. Yeah. And and obviously in this one they're much more chunk style. But this is what it's going to come out looking like. Well, people have different, you know. Mm-hmm. I won't cut it that big. This is quite rich. I shouldn't. Oh, it's all falling apart. Look at that. But look at that. That happens. Well, it looks great. If it can happen to Emerald, it can happen to us. That's right. Now, could I eat this with my fingers? Or just no. To, here's no. a fork. Just to see what uh, how this tastes. I'm sorry about this. It's That's just, okay. Again, transporting things around mm -hmm. in your car isn't always the best thing. Oh, this is very good. And this is cold. Uh, so mm -hmm. You can have it hot with a little with sour whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Something like that, or uh, it, it does have a taste of this time of the year too. Sort of fall apples, Thanksgiving. It's a cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Apples. It's it's just that time. It's a, it's a comfort food. It's a warm type of you know, like you feel warm and and when it was baking in the oven, the whole place smelled great mm -hmm. last night. And and we'll be able to tell if if we put this in the oven. It'll if we smell. put this one in the oven. It'll, and strange people will begin to come into the TV studio. Okay, you said that I did. Mm -hmm. Our <laughs> people who I don't normally see will wind up here. Yeah, Monday mornings, people come up. <laughs> this is very good. And Tony will say, who are you? And they'll mm -hmm. say, I worked here 22 years. <laughs> and I smelled something cooking. <laughs> yes, I wanted to come up. So we're going to put this in the oven. Very good. I'll put that over here until we can get to the oven. And the next thing I want to talk about is... Uh, since you were so good, you were so good at cutting apples. I got a passing apples. grade for this? Ap yeah, you got okay. a passing grade. Why don't we give you another apple, two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, take off those little... Don't worry about it, right? <laughs> peel them off or cut them off or something. Because the other day in the food shop, I kept wondering what the strange-looking thing was, and then I realized it was a label that mm -hmm. was on the apple that didn't come out. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to make an apple salad, like potato salad. Mm -hmm. But this is with apples. Oh, really? It, it's, it's not cooked either, like apples. But so it would be a potatoes. nice cold dish to go along. And, and what's going to be involved in this? Well, we have the apples. Mm -hmm. And let's see, we have some scallions and green pepper, lemon, and uh, scallion. I said scallions. Green pepper, lemon, and oil, and salt and pepper. And oh, that's going right. to be it. And how are these going to be cut up? You can cut them. In, you know how you cut the things in threes? Yeah. Make it twos. Okay, so this will be a little chunkier. This is a little chunkier. This is also a great salad to make with yams. The same thing, but substitute apples for the yams. Oh, or okay. vice versa. But the yams you have to cook. Okay. And take the skins off. No one eats a raw yam. And once again, this could be done with the apples with the skin on. Uh, or yeah, you can. I would leave it on because it makes it tasty. Now this apple is they call the gala apple, and it's a little softer mm -hmm. than a wine sap. So that's why I put it in the, the salad instead of. But if you like wine saps and you like the crispness of it. Yeah. And should I just cut this right into the bowl? Right. And you just said in twos. Isn't that hard? It is. Just it's a math class. Mr. Garrett right now with the. Uh, talking about division and multiplication, and we're doing the same thing. Right. Taking one-eighth and cutting it in half, giving us, probably the crew, would right away be able to figure out this is one-sixteenth. Wow, you're good. Of the apple. You're really good. I'm trying here. Listen, it is. Cooking is a lot like uh, math and science and mm -hmm. 
everything else. In fact, I know a, a food chemist, and all her job is to go around for the other cooks and, and figure out unusual um, things that happen to the recipe, why the garlic turns green. Oh, really? And, uh, when it's an acid and things like that. Her name is Shirley Carruther, I think. And she's, she's a, a food chemist. She's a food chemist, and that's all she does. And she's an adorable little lady. She's like, well, this high. <laughs> I could put her in my pocket, and no one would know I took her out, <laughs> in, out of the place. But she's very, very nice. And I had met her a few times in a few classes, and I ran into her at the food show. And I was only impressed because the woman remembered me. <laughs> That'll always impress you, yes. Well, I noticed over the, the, the time that we've been producing this show, it is there's an awful lot of chemistry involved in it. So for those of our students who are out there saying, gee, how does chemistry apply to my everyday living? This is it. If you want to eat, most of us do eat. Mm -hmm. Especially those of us in high school tend yeah. to eat. Yeah, they're big. Mm -hmm. They've already formed most of their taste. So I run around hearing kids saying, I don't like that. And I, did you try it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we have one more apple. Well, you know what to do? Why don't you just stick those in stick there? Stick these in here, okay. Let me put this over here. We, then we even we'll have to go through. These guys in here. And we really still have the red and the green. Yeah, we're still sticking with that, huh? Mm-hmm. And then with, with oh. See that, I just, that's, a, <laughs> that's the extent of my cooking Tony show. Tony Lagasse, <laughs> Tony Lagasse. Uh, I've learned to respect him a lot over the years. In the beginning, I didn't, really like him a mm -hmm. lot, but he's a fine cook. I understand his television show has been canceled, and it should be. Oh, the sitcom. <laughs> the sitcom, well. it is not, as, you know, he should stick with what he knows uh, That probably best. has a lot less to do with his cooking than with, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just miscast. So I'm going to put the green onions just in this little shaker-upper thing. Okay, so we have the green onions over yeah, here. No, yeah, no, put, put it down. The, okay, put them down here. Then I'm going to have the green peppers. Oh, okay. And then some little lemon juice. And it looks like uh, just about three teaspoons Yeah, or and so. I didn't put that on. Okay. In, maybe a teaspoon and a half. <coughs> and uh, I hope I have enough here from last week. All right. A lot of people take themselves very seriously about the cooking, and I don't... You have to have fun doing it. We had to have fun doing everything. We decided once we didn't have fun doing this show, we wouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, this is going to just lay on top, or is this going uh, to get uh, mushed around? Just mushed around. Okay. It's real. It's 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 a simple thing, but wait, wait till you you taste it all together. This should stand for a little while. And, and let all the, the different tastes sort yeah, of... Yeah, if um, you can cover it okay. even and helps to hold it down. But it, as I say, it sound, it's like a nothing. And we'll let you taste it. it. Oh, all right. See, we have silverware now, so I like to show it off. <laughs> mm hmm It's great because you have the, the tart, sweet apple. Yeah. That's why I said next one you have the green. You mm hmm know. And if you want, I don't want to use it for that, but if you want, you could throw some uh, raisins, mm -hmm. white or... Uh, the regular raisins in there, and mm, uh, this is very good. I know Tony's a good gauge because he, he pretends he's not, but he is a picky eater. Mm. I watched him eat. I know he's a picky eater. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's so why I am a good gauge for this. I like both of these so far. And once again, this is a good time of the year to have apples in our area. Well, they're fresh now. You know, if you buy apples in August, they were picked last November, so. Mm -hmm. And people can get apples locally. Yes. And uh, mm. I like the place where you can go out and pick your own. Yes. Or you can pick them off the ground while you hit the trees. But you live near a couple orchards that do that, I think. I yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, we, uh, we go to one of our local orchards, and what they do is they harvest their own, uh, and they keep them in, a cool in cooling boxes. So all throughout the winter, you can get apples relatively fresh. Of course, everyone thinks that the... That the most apples come from Washington State, and I may be wrong, and someone can correct me on this. Mm -hmm. I understand that it's Pennsylvania apples. Oh, I'm sure it would be Pennsylvania that, apples. Oh, sure. Mm. Film from Norristown, Pennsylvania. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we want to make sure it's Norristown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something else I have 
easy, quick, you know. I'm big well, on these easy. are both relatively quick. This is something that, that you could attempt, even if you're not a very big cook. Uh, I would probably even attempt to do both of these if I... Uh, you could do them. Look, you did half I of it. I did half of it already, okay. And you were ready to jump in there and mm -hmm. put those uh, scallions right in there. Oh, yeah. And you can do it that way. You don't have to do it the way I do it. But you can put them all in there and toss it. But I like to get them all mixed up and toss it. The other, and then, of course, th things you can have with things. This next uh, little uh, apple, not apple sauce per se, but apples and raisins and a sauce you put on ice cream or cake. You could buy a ready-made cake mm -hmm. and gussy it up with your own with, little. With this, so we're gonna make a, uh, what would it be called? It's not, is it a, so it's a sauce? It's like, uh, it's not applesauce. Yeah. As people know applesauce, all one word. It's a uh, apple. Topping? Top, good. I oh, like that, that I like good. that, all right. <laughs> but <laughs> you wanna do this? <laughs> next, <laughs> next week, week I'll, I'll next be doing week, the show. Can you get me, uh, that one should be in my plate. Thing. Okay. And it feels so good to just point to something mm -hmm. and we have it. We're going to have it all someday. I always say be careful what you wish for because you may uh, get it. That's right. I always like for the starting fire, keep the burner warm. Mm -hmm. Clean. I'm sorry, clean. We have um, some butter. Oh, it's gorgeous butter patties thing. Now, I didn't do this to make this. Mm -hmm. I happened to borrow these or... Um, Get borrowed, them out of the borrowed butter. This is the sort of thing you can go next door. I went to my next door home ec mm -hmm. and borrowed some butter because I, right. I forgot it. You put in about two or three tablespoons and you melt it. And it's melt it slowly because, well, you can caramelize it, but then it's not the same, you know, when you burn it. And <laughs> That, that's caramelizing it is obviously it's just burned and, yeah, and it becomes and it a, almost cooks a up into yeah. the. You know, people make clarified butter. All they do is in a pot, they melt the butter down, and all the butter that rises is the clarified butter, oh like really? for sh um, lobster and shrimp. And okay. All. And the stuff on the bottom, you could use it, but it's not what they put in the mm -hmm. top-notch cooking. All right. So now we have melted our butter in the pan. Yes. See, it's all melted. It does smell great. Smell great. The butter smells good when you. <laughs> exactly. Just by oh, itself. you know what I forgot? What? We forgot to do. Put some salt and pepper in there. Ah. And tr and you'll try it and again. I'll and try it again. And what we do is we. You, he just discovered that today. I don't know where. <laughs> I've had it on a couple shows, but One. it makes it a whole different taste. And this, and I noticed, by the way, we have salt in here that's not, that's very big grains of salt. That's coarse salt. So this, salt. this is coarse salt, salt. And all we're going to wind up doing then is just. Sea salt breaks down differently. It does. Sea salt. It, it, just, it just does. All right. It takes longer. Now I'll get a chance to eat another one of these then. Hmm. What I put in here was apples. Uh, these apples oh, were the dry list. ones. This that I got you can get them out of a bag or anything. I just saw something different, something you can have on your shelf and not worry about going bad. You can make them. They come in and should be sold and not bought. We'll talk something about like this. Hmm. Please. And they're uh, since I dumped them in in such a hurry and I didn't bother to show anybody. They just dried apples. Okay. They're not. Apples never dry really uh, dry. Even when they make dried apple heads, they're not really dry. I've seen them. Really There's always a easy to indent. Um, ooh, I'm burning. Mm. But that's not good. But I want to put some. Um, some raisins, and some more butter. That'll uh, take, so I'm gonna just stick some more. This is very good. And the salt and pepper makes a difference, don't you think? It does. We won't want the smell aroma right now. It's just a little. So you threw the raisins in, and then you threw more butter in on top? Yeah, because it was, what we should have used was the bigger pan. You want to give me the bigger pan? Mm -hmm. Just put it. Yeah. 
We'll just melt the butter and. Oh yeah, we're going to be attracting lots of people to the TV studio today. These got a little brown, but they're really not burnt. It's the sugar in the butter. And the, I'm sorry, the sugar in the apples that are. Let me taste the. Let me taste the burnt one, and I'll let. You can tell me. Here, or here. Can I just? Oh, you want a fork? <laughs> you don't want to set your. I don't want to set my hand on fire. Correct. Oh, ah, oh, it is hot. Put it down. Well, I'll eat it in a second then, if it's. And I'll let you know how. And, and, and the term for the burn butter is caramelized. Yeah. And then I would throw some uh, mm. more vanilla extract in here, or anything, anything you want to—a liqueur thing. And you have to remember it's not bad because it does cook off. The liqueur. The liqueur or any kind of liqueur. I'm not uh, advocating that. Mm -hmm. Especially out of school. Especially here. out of school. Yes. But I do believe if there is people that have do have a drinking problem, they shouldn't even use it when mm -hmm. it's because there's always traces. Okay. So see how it's getting a little more wet now and. How was that thing? The that, was, one? that was very good, actually, um, with the caramelized butter on it. It's if you like, how about if I hold the pan I'm going over to put here? It in the so dish. That, oh, I was going to say, let me just let me just hold this for a second, okay, you so hold that the pan? Seth can get a shot of this. And this is what it winds up looking like. And you can put other things in there. So I could, you could put almost. So right Nuts. now we've got, we have the apples, um, the raisins, and caramelized and butter. Here's some nuts we have left. And I could just, we could just throw these guys right in. And then I guess we would munch them around. That would help. See, notice how I've tried to take this over? Yeah. As if I've actually made this. Uh-huh. Well, you're good. And, and the students will, will agree with me, I'm sure. Because they're going to take gonna, over. That I'll, ta that I'll take this over and then. You'll one of the how will you serve that? Uh, I would serve this, uh, well actually let me have it a test. Give me two or three ways that we could use this. Well when it cools you could use it over ice back. cream. Ice cream, okay. If, if you were really wanted to have an apple apple at uh, moment, you could use it over, whoa, I'll get it. we'll Hang get it down. later. The apple uh, over, a the apple cake, you could just have it like that on the side with some, a ham, mm -hmm. piece of meat. Some, you know, because it like does it. have, it, it has the sweetness of the raisins in. And let me taste it. All right. I don't think I'm trying to poison you or something. <laughs> yes, Too it hot. Was, it, it was hot, yes. There's, um, I think it's the apple, what apple did we use in this? Oh, we used those dry apples. Mm -hmm. It's a little salty. Did you find it a little No, salty? I didn't find it, but. Uh, I found it a little hot. Be careful as, as you Yeah, as you I found that. out. So, so far we've gone most of the way through an apple show, and we haven't said anything about Johnny Appleseed. I heard he was a myth. A myth. The, and you know, Walt Disney, with the cartoons of him with the frying pan on his head, walking through the country. They made a lot of money on it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Walt Disney made out a lot better than Johnny Appleseed. Well, did. Johnny Appleseed was a person, but I don't think he was, he didn't go around and plant half okay. all the apple seeds all over the place. But, um, and don't even, Granny Smith, the green apples, mm -hmm. those Granny Smith apples were probably the second coming to Johnny Appleseed. Everybody knows. Okay, yes. Um, about them. And, and, and there are hundreds of different varieties of apples, so you could get a sweeter apple, a more tart apple. Like this is softer. Mm -hmm. This is called, what did I say, a gala. It's really neat, they do have their names on them mm -hmm. now, so you know what you're getting. I've always wondered whose job it is to put the little stickers on all of these. I don't know, maybe yeah. a little person sits in Very just, small, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or comes down the conveyor belt. Listen, I think we have to go. I think we've overstayed our welcome. All right, <laughs> and once it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, well, listen, thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, that is. And uh, remember, this is Betty Banjack, and look who's cooking, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>